Welcome to the Lee Boy new product information video. Since 1964, Lee Boy has designed and manufactured superior commercial asphalt pavers and is an industry leader. The Lee Boy brand is well known for its quality and innovative design with a focus on providing value, productivity, and reliability. The Lee Boy organization relies on its experienced workforce and its new 219,000 square foot manufacturing facility in the Lincoln County Industrial Park near Lincolnton, North Carolina to create solutions to paving and grading needs. Our commitment is clear at Lee Boy. We are committed to product quality, customer service, business integrity, and providing value for those who make Lee Boy their choice in road maintenance equipment. In the spirit of this commitment to quality, we have now added the UD Truck chassis to our lineup. For more than 25 years, UD Trucks have earned an outstanding reputation for quality, dependability, and durability. In fact, the UD trademark has come to be known over the past 25 years to mean ultimate dependability. We have chosen UD Trucks as a chassis supplier for the many unique features and benefits it can bring to our customers. Unique features to the cab over design include outstanding maneuverability, increased visibility, the most efficient weight distribution, and the ease of serviceability. These features in combination with the value and low cost of ownership make UD Trucks the perfect match for the Lee Boy products. We hope you find the UD Chassis product overview both informative and beneficial in the operation of your new UD Truck Chassis and further understand why the UD Trucks represent ultimate dependability. This UD product overview lists the notable features and benefits as well as the interior and exterior attention to detail with a superior fit and finish that reflects the highest levels of quality and value. Let's start with the cab. All UD cabs undergo a nine layer anti-corrosive treatment before painting to ensure the longest life, super durability, and the lowest cost of ownership in the toughest of road conditions. Lifting the cab is easy by using the three point cab tilt lever for easy engine accessibility. Lifting the cab is as simple as one, two, three. UD Trucks use a torsion bar lifting system to aid in lifting the cab. This feature allows easy access to the engine compartment with little or no upward lifting pressure from the operator. After opening the cab, insert the safety pin into the cab support arm for a safe inspection of the engine. Under the cab you'll find a fuel efficient powerhouse. The MD230 engine offers modern technology in design and build resulting in an economical, durable, reliable, and long-lasting diesel engine that is designed to save you money and assure the lowest cost of ownership throughout its life cycle. The savings in fuel and maintenance costs per mile are the key offerings of this high-quality power unit. Its overhead camshaft eliminates many of the moving parts that lead to costly repairs. Oil jets installed at the base of each cylinder bore spray oil onto the bottom of each piston to dissipate heat and also lubricate rod bearings. This piston oil cooling technology leads to lower maintenance and longer engine life. The MD230 utilizes electronic common rail fuel technology, which uses high pressure supply pump to draw fuel from the fuel tank. From the supply pump, pressurized fuel travels to the common rail assembly. The common rail system then distributes the pressurized fuel into the injectors. Any excess fuel sent to the common rail system is bled back into the fuel tank. This system provides increased fuel economy, reduced combustion noise, decreased emissions, and a smoother overall operation. Also, unlike other engines, UD trucks utilize engine-driven gear train components, which include the crank gear, main idler gear, camshaft gear, air compressor gear, power steering gear, and the oil pump gear, which are all mounted to the rear of the cylinder block. This mounting location helps reduce noise and minimize timing variations during operation, as well as increases reliability and serviceability for less downtime. The normal oil change interval on UD Trucks MD230 is 10,000 miles, which is already an industry leader, 
but with the use of Nissan Diesel's exclusive UD Extra Synthetic Oil, you can extend the oil change intervals up to 20,000 miles, reducing the time your truck is in for preventative maintenance. This upgrade can be requested at your first oil interval for a minimal cost and is highly encouraged to maximize the lowest cost of ownership. Many of the primary fluids including engine oil, transmission and power steering fluids are easily in reach and accessible for routine inspection. All medium duty UD trucks with automatic transmission use Allison rugged duty series transmissions and come standard with Transcend, an extended life synthetic transmission fluid. This standard feature qualifies UD trucks for the Allison ETC or extended transmission coverage for up to six years through Allison Transmission. UD trucks have many unique features that set UD trucks apart from other manufacturers. One of these features is found just below the transmission showing its attention to detail is the belly band. The benefit of the belly band is it reduces the twisting motion created by the torque of the driveline. This attention to detail increases the useful life of UD trucks with less wear and tear on the frame, reducing stress on chassis components as well as creating a smooth, comfortable ride for increased comfort. Another unique feature to UD trucks is the dual cap suspension system which is supported first by a heavy duty leaf spring for resistance to road shock and reinforced with dual shock absorbers on either side. As you can see, this unique design creates one of the highest quality rides in medium duty trucks for the ultimate in driver comfort. Next, just behind the cab, observe the watertight fuse box which houses the fusible links. These fusible links protect the electrical system from power surges and avoid any costly electrical damage. The fusible links can also be easily accessed for additional power supply. This is typically done by the body companies when unique electrical applications are needed. Just past the fusible link box, you'll find the battery box containing two heavy duty batteries. The battery box cover can be easily removed by releasing the four spring steel retainers for easy inspection of the batteries. Further down the frame rail, you'll notice a heated fuel filter. It features a clear sediment bowl which can collect heavy particles from the fuel supply as well as collect any moisture from condensation that may collect in the fuel tank. Notice the attention to detail with the in-frame grommets used in UD trucks. These grommets eliminate any direct contact between wiring and the frame in order to prevent friction wear, increasing the long-term durability of UD trucks. UD medium duty trucks have heavy duty cylindrical steel fuel tanks standard in 50 gallon capacity with optional steel and aluminum tanks with larger fuel capacity. The rear suspension on UD trucks utilize heavy duty shackling pin design which includes a lube fitting for greasing this assembly which reduces friction wear and promotes longer worry free operation. This unique two-stage suspension assures the best possible ride for either loaded or unloaded cargo levels for a smooth and comfortable ride. A unique safety feature found just behind the rear axle is the rear wheel park brake. The rear wheel park brake locks the rear wheels in place to prevent any back and forth rocking motion of the truck while loading or unloading in the park position. It has become such a popular safety feature that all Nissan Diesel America inventory includes this option. From the rear of the chassis you can see the industry leading frame strength and full ladder style cross members. The frame has a yield strength of 51,200 PSI and a resistance to bending moments or RBMs of nearly 2 million inch pounds depending on frame length. All UD trucks come standard with backup alarm on the passenger side frame rail. This standard safety feature is activated when the truck is in the reverse position to warn anyone whom the driver may not be able to see as he is reversing the truck. The anti-lock brake system module, which with other components monitors the rotational speed of all wheels based on a signal received from each of the wheel sensors to equalize the braking force between all wheels, creating a smooth stop as well as minimizing uneven brake wear. The front and rear brakes have separate air reservoirs, air boosters, and hydraulic cylinders. The air compressor draws fresh air from the engine air intake system and pumps it through the standard air dryer on its way to the supply tank. Air flowing from the air dryer to the primary reservoir has a lower relative humidity, 
which reduces the need for frequent draining of the air tanks and improves reliability and reduces maintenance. Nissan Diesel shows a commitment to money-saving design features by offering an exhaust brake as standard equipment. This feature is easily operated with a fingertip lever on the right side of the steering column. Operation of the lever partially closes a butterfly valve in the exhaust pipe, restricting the flow of exhaust and reduces the engine speed as the operator releases the fuel pedal. This feature extends the usable brake life when utilized properly by the driver. To ensure the cleanest possible air intake for the most efficient combustion, the air intake system consists of the air intake snorkel and the air filter canister. The snorkel is mounted high on the cab and incorporates a screen over the intake port. As air is drawn through the snorkel, it passes through an 11 inch paper element where dust particles and water, which have a greater specific gravity than air, are removed by centrifugal force. Notice the external air restriction indicator for inspection. This reminder will indicate whether or not the engine is receiving adequate airflow for efficient combustion. Below the windshield is the front cab panel. This panel was designed so that the operator and service advisors can easily check the cabin heater air intake filter, air conditioner charge connection for the refrigerant, heater core, wiper arms, wiper motor, engine coolant reservoir without tilting the cab. You may find the optional engine block heater port. In cold weather, simply plug in to a 110 outlet for a carefree starting in extreme cold conditions. As we look inside the cab, many of the internal cab features and standard equipment include self-adjusting driver's air suspension seat, tilt and telescopic steering column, large grab handles for easy entrance and exits from the cab, overhead storage bins, map lights, power windows and door locks, keyless entry and spacious area behind the seat for storage, heavy duty floor mats, Optional interior equipment include the port installed AM FM CD radio with an auxiliary port for MP3 players. The glove box style access to the fuse panel allows easy access to a common blade type fuse board with an easy reader stick. The fuse puller is located above the fuse panel and makes fuse replacement and troubleshooting extremely easy. Within comfortable reach, the driver has easy access to emergency flashers, windshield wipers and washer fluid, headlights with high beams, and turn signals. As you can see, the large easy re instrument panel allows quick check of truck operations, such as the front and rear brake pressures, fuel gauge, temperature indicator, speedometer and tripometer, tachometer, which clearly shows the most desirable operating range of RPMs. Also included are 17 warning indicators and lamps. The warning lamps have become increasingly important with EPA regulations that require all new trucks to comply with new lower emission standards with the installation of a diesel particulate filter, or DPF. How does a DPF affect your business? First, it is important to understand that there are four ways for regeneration to occur. What we call the ABC of regeneration, which includes A, automatic or passive regeneration, accomplished automatically under normal exhaust temperatures of normal highway operating conditions. For the most part, the regeneration process will be completely transparent to the end user, as more than 90% of medium duty applications exceed the medium temperatures required to initiate passive regeneration. However, the details of regeneration must be communicated and described in detail. A second form of regeneration B, by computer, or active regeneration, occurs as the engine management devices add unburned fuel to the exhaust on the exhaust stroke which flows through the catalyst of the DPF increasing exhaust temperatures so that regeneration occurs when the temperatures are not high enough for passive regeneration. This form of regeneration is also transparent to the operator as it occurs automatically without driver interaction. The third type of regeneration C for customer or manual regeneration is controlled by the operator and must be performed if the vehicle is unable to complete regeneration through the two previous methods under normal operating conditions. This method of regeneration requires the operator to manually perform regeneration with the push of a button. 
This procedure must be done within 95 miles of soot level 2. Dash light indicators notify the driver of each of the three soot levels. It is important that all operators of a new UD truck are made aware of what each DPF dash light signifies. If no DPF dash lights are illuminated, this indicates the vehicle is at soot level zero and no action is necessary. If the green DPF lamp becomes illuminated, the vehicle has reached soot level one. Again, no action is required as it may return to soot level zero under normal operations through passive regeneration or through active regeneration automatically performed electronically by the engine control module. Under the rare condition that regeneration is unable to occur through the two previous methods, an amber warning light will appear on the dash indicating a manual regeneration is required. A manual regeneration must be performed within 95 miles. If a manual regeneration is not performed within 95 miles, the engine system will initiate a safety or limp mode status to avoid severe damage to the DPF. Limp mode is indicated by reduced power with a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour and illuminates the engine service lamp. If it becomes necessary to perform a manual regeneration, there are clear instructions posted on both the driver's side visor and on the driver's side door panel as well as on the customer DPF card found in the glove box. When the amber warning light indicates a manual regeneration is required, the steps to perform a manual regeneration are simple and straightforward. First, the operator must find a safe location to stop the vehicle on a paved area such as a rest stop, side road, or parking lot safely away from traffic. Second, place the transmission in the park position. Third, while the engine is still running, engage the park brake, and finally, Push the manual regeneration button found on the face of the dashboard. This process only requires about 20 minutes returning the vehicle's DPF to normal operating conditions. So by understanding the requirements of the DPF operation and following a few simple procedures, you'll enjoy all the benefits of the UD chassis. We hope this overview has been informative about UD products as well as beneficial in understanding how to get the most out of your UD truck.